Hello YouTubers! To test the USB power bank, you can use a USB load resistor. Connect it to a volt and current meter to test if the power bank can deliver the required current at 5 volts. By timing the duration the current is delivered, you can calculate the capacity. As you can see, dummy loads vary in price. This adjustable constant current load costs only a few dollars. Even more affordable are these little resistor-based mini USB loads. In video number 75, Mr. Andreas Peace compared these two USB loads and found the cheap adjustable very usable. In this video, I will show you how you can change the mini USB load resistor for testing with lower currents. The original version has a switch to select either 1 or 2 amp. With my modified version, you can select either 1 amp or half an amp. In the original version, two 5 ohm resistors are used in parallel to draw the 2 amp current at 5 volts. Following Ohm's law, the voltage of 5 volt divided by the total resistance of 2.5 ohm gives a current of 2 amp. In the lower setting, only one resistor is used, resulting in a 1 amp current. In the modified version, the two resistors are connected in series, resulting in a total resistance. 10 ohm. At 5 volts they will draw 5 divided by 10 is half an amp. To show you the modification I will draw the schematic of the original version. As you can see the switch is used to add the second resistor into the circuit. In the modified version most of the original is used. The switch is now used to bypass the second resistor. To connect the two resistors in series these two original connections are cut these two were added. As you can see, the new connections close the connection of the two resistors in series. I used a knife to cut the connection on this place on the front side and here on the back side. I used a green sharpie to color the cuts and make it look nicer. The new connections here and here were made quite heavy by using a piece of wire to make the connection and then adding sufficient solder. To finish the modification, I made two labels with a label printer. The circuit of the bicolor LED remains unchanged, so the device will still light up green in the lower setting and red in the higher setting. I hope you liked this video. Subscribe to be notified of future videos on my channel. See you next time.